Hey guys, Ryan Collector with Gun University here. Thanks for coming along with me and walking some of the aisles here at SHOT Show 2022. I love being here for a couple reasons. I mean, one, sure, it's cool seeing the new products and the fancy booths and the displays and getting to handle some things I would never get a chance to handle in just a typical gun store. That's cool. But one of my favorite parts about SHOT Show is actually running into my friends and industry members and seeing all these old faces again. It's really nice to get together and catch up on each other's lives, but talk business get some things moving in the industry, making sure that we're all set up for the next year. While I've been walking around, I saw a few things I'd like to show you. Matter of fact, come this way. All right guys, so the first product that I saw here at the show is this little tiny suppressor or silencer for hunting that I'm super excited about. It's from Wyoming Arms. This is one of those things that, but for walking by and picking it up and seeing it, I never even would have known about. Okay, we're at the Wyoming Arms booth with John Burns, and just earlier today of the show, John and I bumped into each other. We've known, we've hunted elk together. Yeah. yeah. We're sitting there talking, and he reaches his pocket and pulls out this little titanium suppressor. I think four ounces. Four ounces and four inches. <laughs> this little thing looks really, really cool. Now, I shot something very similar to this with you yeah. a couple years ago. One and, of the yep, my experience is it is right at that level of just be just under hearing safe limits for the shooter at yeah. the gun. Uh, at the this isn't uh -huh. supposed to be the quietest suppressor. That's, no. that's not the goal. The goal is to have this short, lightweight, easy maneuver for hunting, right? Absolutely, yeah. Can you tell us some more about it? Yeah, so this is our four inch, it's a monocore design. Mine was a little bit tight. This is the five inch. They're belt like say on a monocore. You can go up to center fire, 5.56 five, works really well on this one. This one's a 6.5 can. You can go up to 300 Winchester Magnum on this size of it. Wow. Uh -huh. You've got versions that are aluminum for rim fired and we've got versions that are stainless steel for hard use um, on something like a full auto 556 or something like that. All right, my understanding is that even though they may not be the quietest cans at the muzzle, because there's not a whole lot of volume there, there sure. can't be a whole lot of room for baffles or anything there, but that might be part of why they're so quiet at the shooter, right? Yeah, absolutely, because then on an AR system, you're not driving gas backwards, a lot of blowback, no gas in your face, and you're minimizing the pork crap. The 22 rim fire we're gonna test really well with anybody at the muzzle, the 5.56s, five, five, we do decent at the muzzle um, and really good at the shooter's ear. And on the smaller cans for something like a bolt action, we're going to be very small and light. But again, if we want the customer to understand, it's not going to be the quietest can in the world. Well, John, I'm glad you bumped into me and I'm glad you just pulled that out of your pocket because but for seeing you here, I wouldn't have known about it. Yeah, this so is our thanks. first shot show and it's been a really good show. Um, so we appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome, we're glad you made it. Right, thanks, Ryan. I know something else I saw at SHOT Show as I was walking by was at the Aero Precision booth. Now, I know Aero Precision. They're a bigger company of making AR-15 or AR components. But I walked by and someone shouted out to me. I stopped and looked back. I had no idea they came out with their new chassis and their action and their barrel nut system. And it was cool enough and I'm glad I bumped into it that I kind of want to bring you along and let me show you what I found. So I was walking by the Aero booth and John called out my name to say, come check this out, look at the new chassis. And I was like, wow, this is a pretty neat looking chassis. I mean, it has the Arca Swiss rail the whole way forward. It's got a nice grip here. And I was pretty darn impressed with everything about the chassis. And when he started talking to me about it, he was saying things about the footprint of the action and the barrel nut. And I went, wait, this is your action too? It is really slick. It's not only their 700 footprint short action action yeah. with a Remage style, small shank, savage prefit barrel nut. Yes, sir. So you can get an action for under a thousand? Yep, under a thousand. I can get any prefit savage barrel I want. Yes, sir. Screw it on myself. Yep. And I don't have to get it all as one. Like this is a gorgeous rifle. I, I get it. No doubt. But if it's not my budget, I like the idea that I can just start with just the action and start playing with these barrels in my stock I already have if I need to. 100%. And I can slowly add pieces here and there to yep. it. This is really cool. And I'm glad that I was at SHOT Show because had I not been walking on the aisle, had you not seen me, I wouldn't have learned about it. Can you tell us a little bit more about this system? And Yeah, yeah. So uh, like Ryan was saying, nothing on here is proprietary and that's really important for us because the industry has a ton of technology out there right now and we want our customers to be able to utilize that technology. So okay. like we were saying, BART line prefits, uh, proof prefits, trigger prefits, they'll all, they'll all fit. Uh, mm -hmm. Same with chassis, right? Anything that's a Remington 700 short action. Uh, one thing to note is we do have a medium style length action ejection port, and that's for uh, the replaceable bolt heads when you go up to a Magnum caliber, short action Magnum, okay. long cartridges, you need to be able to eject those properly. So we went ahead and solved for that as well. Integral well, recoil lug, integral yeah. 20 MOA. And if rail. strength isn't an issue, you might as well have a bigger ejection port anyway. 100%. Yeah. yeah. 
All right, awesome. I appreciate you stopping me, and this is really cool. I cannot wait to get one to try it out. Yes, sir. Have a good show. Thank you. You too. Now, I know when you think about SHOT Show, you probably think about all the guns and ammunition and things like that, but there's all sorts of products related to the shooting, hunting, and outdoors industries here. Like this next product I want to show you are earplugs. I know that may not sound exciting to you, but it's something that no matter what gun I'm shooting, no matter what ammo I'm shooting, I'm probably going to want hearing protection when I'm at the range. And these things are going to give you kind of a custom earplug fit without having to be custom. I really love them. But to find them, we're going to go downstairs where we have a lot of the newer or smaller manufacturers. And that's a neat place to find a lot of these new products. You know, I actually heard this year there are more exhibitors at this SHOT Show than any SHOT Show we've had before. And a lot of that new stuff is down there. Let's go check it out. here, I mean it guys, this is where you can find a lot of the gems and the new stuff, because this is where a lot of the newer, smaller manufacturers start out. If you come to SHOT next year, don't just spend all your time upstairs. Get down here at least for half a day, and walk around and check some stuff out. You'll find some cool things like this. All right guys, here's another product that but for walking around a SHOT show, I never would have found. This is one of those times that the same thing, they called me out, they said, you gotta try these out. I'm like, ah, oh, what are these? They're earplugs, guys. You're gonna have it at the range every single time you go out. So you might as well get something that's comfortable and that works. I love these things. I must have bought maybe five to 10 pairs myself to give away as gifts and color coded for the kid. Let's check them out. Hey guys, Decibel's earplugs. These are custom molded earplugs that you make yourself at home in warm water. And if I wasn't at the meeting day at the range here at SHOT Show, I never would have seen these things because that's where I met these guys. They were handing these out and letting people try them out. They molded them in your ear for you while you waited. They're awesome and I use them all the time. How has SHOT Show been for you guys for launching the product for your experience here? Nice. It's been great, other than until he dropped one. But yeah. it's been great. You know, SHOT Show's been awesome for us. We've been coming here for about four years now. Um, this year, obviously, with all the changes, it was still awesome for us. Industry day at the range is always phenomenal. Yeah. Gives the customers an opportunity to try out the product right on site. Um, we've been launching this percussive filter. This one allows you to hear your surroundings, but when a gunshot goes off, it does close automatically. No electronics, no batteries, but still the great custom molds of decibels. So it's been great to launch this year. Get to meet our customers. Mm -hmm. um, traffic's been great, much better than anticipated, so we're excited okay, good. next year. That's awesome, that's awesome. One last thing I like about these, is I've molded these before and I messed up. Yeah. I just remold them. Exactly. That's it's a awesome. huge feature for them. The remoldability, you know, do-it-yourself products. Take some time to get used to now and then, but you can't really screw these up. So it's yeah. awesome here. Guys, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I found you. I love them. Thanks. Nice.